Oh, quick, babe, it's bloody hot. So much easier to see that um, screen. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. The sun is just so strong here, isn't it? It's unreal. I mean, even though it's only like... What, no, it's cold. It's actually cold when, when you get going, it's cold. But the sun... sun. Bacon. Ooh. Bacon, mate, bacon. Do you hey, need hey. fuel? Hi, hi. <laughs> Bruno, eh? Oh, Bruno. What a character. Uh, one of the things that I have got planned is in November to do another track day. At and Devils. Bruno came with me last time, but unfortunately can't go this time, which is oh, a bit annoying. I'm going to come. Are you coming? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do they have a, a, a couple of laps where you can take a pillion? Uh, you can take a pillion. I don't think I'd want to, to be honest. I think... Oh, yeah, we could do pillion track day. Yeah, I, I think you wouldn't like that. <laughs> to be honest, on them track days, I'm right on the limit. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and I'm right on the edge of the tyres. Okay. And these tyres, they're good, but... They go a bit, the whole bike goes a bit light when you're fully lent over. You can really feel the tyres starting to sort of slide away from you. Oh, I wouldn't like that at all. Um, so you, you're like, your rear end is very puckered. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I probably don't want to be around. Yeah. Never mind you. Yeah. That's the case. <laughs> Should we say hello? Have I got my neck scarf on still? Yeah, you do. Oh, it's just come down a bit in the... F Thank you, I just can't find it. Yes, hello everybody. Hi. Welcome to a video that we are going to put out for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> Tubbs is on the back. Um, this is Omarama, and we are heading back from Omarama to Wanaka. And On the most sublime day. It is the most amazing spring day. Still cold, but um, the sun here is so incredibly strong that even at 12, 13, 14 degrees, it's burned. hot. You can get seriously burnt and yeah. black leathers. It's just like wearing a. Well, it's just like wearing a heated jacket, isn't it? Yeah, you just have a little sweat on going on for sure. A little sweet. Wow. Here's Richard and Tracy. Hey! Came out for the day with us. I've been your top hot, so cool. Yeah. I'm looking forward to doing some trips in summer with those two. It's going to be great. Yeah, it is going to be a good summer, I reckon. I've got a good feeling about it. And now my garage is almost optimised. <laughs> I, awesome. <laughs> I'm like a complete clean freak, so everything has to be in its right place. I am too, I love that about it. Yeah. So I've spent a while now optimising the garage. <laughs> That's a really bad thing to... No, I've been out, I've been doing really cool things. Yeah, you have. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not, not, tidying not tidying the garage. I vacuumed the garage the other day. That's how anal I am about it. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> oh dear. For those of you that are new to the channel and haven't seen this road, this is an epic road. It is it's an epic absolutely road. amazing. Yeah. We do do it at least I don't know once every couple of months over the oh, summer easily. holiday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I would have to say the guys from Wanaka, it's their favourite road really. Yeah, it? most of the bike club, this is the road. Yeah. So right now they're filming, what did you say, Moana? Mulan. 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 They're filming the new Mulan movie just down yeah. there. I don't know if any of you have got kids, 
um, and have seen the cartoon. Absolutely awesome. Yeah. It was my kids' favourite when they were little. Um, anyway, yeah, so they're doing a, a live um, live production of Mulan just there. That's where they're filming it, which is pretty cool. Well, they're maybe part of the movie. I'm not sure if the whole thing. That'll be part. Look, everybody stay in there, look. Yeah, probably. That'll yeah. be all the film crew and everything. So, yeah. Pretty cool. New Zealand is quite an idyllic spot to film a movie. Well, the, the, mission, the last Mission Impossible was... Part of it filmed in Wanaka. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it was quite spectacular, wasn't it? Yeah, the whole helicopter scene oh, in God, Mission Impossible amazing. was right above where we live. Yeah, and uh, Tom Cruise was staying up at the uh, yeah. that, that lodge up, up um, there. Oh, what's it called? Farakia. Farakia. I think that's the name of it. Nah. Oh, it's, it's, oh no, it's um, what's the name? It's the, the uh, something lodge. The songstress. Um, a country singer, what's that? Oh, um, uh, Shania Twain. Yeah, Shania Twain. Shania Twain owns a massive patch of land, doesn't she? Yeah. And so a big lodge. I think she, I think it's now her, It's her exes now. Her exes now, he's yeah. a new woman, yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, it's this really fantastic lodge way up in the hill, and um, he was staying there while I was filming Mission Impossible. And you can see him helicopter back up there after a day's work. <laughs> Quite cool. Lots of famous people come and stay. Can you remember when Kiefer Sutherland was playing pool? Yeah. And we were in the next pub along. That's and right. we were sitting down next to um, Tema, 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 I never say his team. How do you say Temuera Morrison? Yeah, Temuera. Temuera. He's Morrison. the the guy from Once We Were Warriors, and he's also in, he's the clone out of Star Wars Clone Wars. Yeah, he's um, pretty famous for a Kiwi. Yeah. We had a beer sat next to him, didn't we? Said hello. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the little old New Zealand, you bump into... Um, yeah, you bump into fam famous people all the time, don't you? I like to come here because they, nobody has to. So. Yeah. Nobody gives a crap here. Yeah, I think um, Reese Witherspoon was at Monica shopping and, you know, yeah. no, nobody really has to at all. So they must think, wow, I like this place. Yeah. Well, I hope the weather's like this for our Tiana trip. Yeah, so we've got booked um, for two weeks from now uh, a trip to Tiana now. now yeah, now there's a lake there. That's where we'll be staying. But just out from Tiana is a place called Milford Sounds, which is absolutely amazing. So we're gonna we're gonna go down there on a Friday night, book in to a you know to the accommodation, and then Saturday we're gonna travel all the way to Milford Sounds, video it, and then travel back. And that will make. A really, really impressive day of footage, I reckon, because oh, it's wow. incredible, isn't it? Is it? Beautiful. I mean, if you can imagine a, a smaller version of Coldplay. It's well, it's not a smaller version because them they're two kilometers. Is it one or two kilometers high? Them cliff, the the granite cliffs. It's, um, they're high. They're vertical cliffs straight out yeah, of the water. Yeah, yeah they are. Yeah. And the surface of the water is um, water. fresh water, and then four metres down is salt water. Salt water. This obviously it opens to the sea, you know, at the far end. Anyway, we'll, we'll do the whole, you'll see that. That's something for you to look forward to and for us to look forward to, because it is truly, it's actually one of New Zealand's most amazing sights, isn't it? Yeah. It's I mean, absolutely it's amazing. Yeah, it's a, a huge tourist destination. Yeah, you can go out on the boat, you can spend the night on the boat. And um, typical New Zealand, there's one road in and one road out. Yeah, one road in, one road out. But that <laughs> road is incredible. Yeah. It's truly um, amazing. And there is a, quite a... Uh, I'm not looking forward to the tunnel, though, because it's a bit dodgy. Yeah, the tunnel is this hand-cut tunnel through the cliff face under the mountain. And it is 
Yeah, yeah it's, it's just a bit sketchy to say the least. It normally has like water running through it and it's yeah. black. Like. Yeah, it's not a road is it, it's like a dirt cobble, slightly concreted, not dodgy. Like, not like the European tunnels, you know, but <laughs> <laughs> it's like, um, yeah, pretty, pretty primitive. So yeah, we've got that to look forward to. We were also planning in the stages of planning. <laughs> Taking a piss. Uh -huh. um, a North Island trip. At Christmas. At Christmas, which is going to be epic. It's, it's quite weird for all you people over um, overseas to think that, you know, summer, our Christmas holidays is in the summer. Yeah, Christmas is hot. Um, so we're going to make our way up to the top of the South Island, get the ferry over, the Inter-Islander, yeah. and then... Oh yeah. look, he's a long way from home. What's he doing up there? The Kia? Yeah, no, the the glider. I don't think there's any... Unless he's walked up to one of these hills, but I... I suppose he could have. <laughs> wow, what a place to do it, eh? Yeah. He's come, that's his car, obviously, look. Here we go. I bet you that's his car right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Watch the road. I should have pulled in and watched him land. Oh, look at this Linda's Pass. This Linda's is Pass amazing. is amazing. Yeah. Hey, get a load of this, Rich. Yeah, so no. Um... Look, that car's had a big smash. Oh, shoot. Oh, it's hit something. There's somebody. Oh, there's two other mud guards right there. Did you see that? And a sign. I and a sign. Know. Yeah. Dear, uh, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah. Got to watch the road, zero. Oh, this, this particular part of uh, Linda's Pass, I think, is amazing. Isn't it it's beautiful? And the snowy mountains. Yeah, out yeah, there. peeping out of the background. Awesome. You can definitely make the mistake of going too fast through here, though. Yeah. You, you'd seriously kill yourself. There's no margin for error here, with that fence on one side and a cliff on the other. Yes, a lot of people do uh, take... They shouldn't be allowed to put them, actually. These horrible um, metal wire fences. Yeah, it should be something a bit more solid, eh? Yeah, they've started doing it over the... Um, what's the pass to Queenstown? They've started oh, putting the like proper Crown, ballards. Crown range. Crown range, yeah. Anyway, so um, yeah, the North Island trip, that it's going to be our annual motorbike trip, which we are going to bring to you for your viewing pleasure. Uh, well, hopefully it will be viewing pleasure and not a viewing nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we'll see how that goes. It's been a long time. In fact, it's it's been years, really, since we've travelled around the North Island. Of course, we used oh, to live up there. Oh, we used to oh, live up... Oh. But, yeah. I, I do miss it. I miss the North Island. There's lots of things I love about I it. I, I tell you what I do miss is the, um, the beaches. Yeah, um, I miss Rotorua. Oh, Rotorua, yeah. I miss mountain biking around Rotorua. Rotorua. Fuck a rewa rewa. Fuck a rewa rewa. You can't say it. Fuck a rewa rewa. Rewa rewa. Fuck a rewa rewa. Fuck a rewa rewa. I don't know how you say that. Rewa rewa. Rewa rewa. Rewa rewa. Flipping. Anyway, that forest is amazing, isn't it? The redwood forest. It is amazing. And it is mountain biking heaven. 
I'm quite excited to show you the top of the North Island. You've never been up to Cape Rianga, have you? I've not been up to Cape Rianga, but I have been as, as far as Kerry Kerry. Okay. A couple of times. And actually that, that drive to Kerry Kerry is boring as hell. Oh, right. It's miles and miles and miles of straight roads. Yeah. I would like to go to, you know, just on the... Can you remember how we used to go to the hot pools? Yeah. Um, just No, just below. Well, uh, we could go to the National Forest again. Oakuni National Forest through I there. Oh, that would be amazing. I love it through there. Mount Ruapehu. Stop Are you it. You're talking about the desert road going through the desert. Yeah, road? yeah, all them. That whole area. I love that whole area. Yeah, Taupo, like Lake Taupo is amazing. Lake Taupo, Rotorua. Oh, we're going to do it all. It's going to be awesome. I love it through there. We could go to the um, hot springs at Turangi. You know, at the bottom of Lake Taupo. Yes, yeah, so, so next to the National Forest. Remember we, when we used to go snowboarding and skiing back in the day? Yeah. We used to go, we used to go there. In fact, I think I've got photographs of you, me and the kids there from... 15 Donkey. years ago. I was thin as a right then. Yes, you were. There's a bit more of me now, but what the heck? A bit I'm more to love, yeah. a bit more to hang on to, yeah. Like a little rabid squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Clutching. <Hey>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I wonder how the old GoPro's going now. Be good to see the footage. Oh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it, actually. Well, that little black we did this morning was pretty impressed with the picture quality. Ah, oh, it's amazing. I'm really excited to see what it's like in 2.7K. Yeah. To see if it's noticeably different. I think, I mean, it... From the little test run I did, it's clearly better, but yeah. I, I can't really tell because my computer doesn't play it. Now, <laughs> 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 yeah, good mate, Richard Tracy. I love it, Mike. It's got yeah. beautiful old paper, isn't it? So that Beamer has done, what did he say, 170,000 like miles? Yeah. And it's still immaculate. It is. He takes really good care of it. Though. Yeah, he does. And that's the new top up. Pretty flash. Yeah. The good thing about Richard is he's got a radar detector. Yeah. So <laughs> he's good to go out with. Eh? Yeah, he's good to go out with. <laughs> yeah, this is cool because it's um, coming out today. It's amazing. Oh, it's shit. You see that car down there? No. You're kidding. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Do you think we should go there? Uh, it had somebody had sprayed on the top of the car MT. They sprayed on it what? Somebody had sprayed onto the top of the car. Should we check? You know how many people are. Um... What, what if, they've, if they've sprayed on the top of it, then there won't be anybody in it. Well, that's what I was thinking too. No, of course not. But unless it was sprayed before it went down there. I mean, you do hear about people who spend like four days when they go over the side of the road and they, they're down there for days until their family find them. Well, no, I think somebody would have noticed if they would have been. Yeah. Yeah, they would have. But I mean, <laughs> it was... Did you see it? No, I didn't, obviously. Oh, oh, I'll have to see it. I'll show you on the video when we get back. Oh, you gave me a blooming heart attack. Can you make some tiffin? No. Uh. You're the one that wants to do white. You <laughs> okay. can't be having tiffin. Okay, you're right. I have got dark chocolate and digestive. Oh, great. And some raisins. I make go. poor man's tiffin. Poor man's tiffin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> poor man's tiffin is you get a digestive, a handful of raisins, and a block of chocolate. You put them all in your mouth at the same time. <laughs> uh, boom! Voila, Tiffin. 
<laughs> poor man's tiffin. It's because I can't really, be bothered to make tiffin. When it's, when it's different, that's what it so is. I just put all the ingredients in my mouth and chew. <laughs> You could even like put your head back and squeeze in some golden syrup. I know. I have <laughs> I have thoughts about it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh what did you like honestly? You need your sugars, babe. I need my sugars, babe. I do. <laughs> I've got a high functioning body. Oh my god, whatever. <laughs> You're just greedy. <laughs> Oh, that was at least four Harley Gives wave. Well, that was the Linda's Pass, folks. It's yep. Lindis, not Linders. Lind I thought it was Linda. Like, all right, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> For ages. <laughs> because, Linda. Yeah, Linda. You're right, Linda. Oh, you're right. Like, who's Linda? I know. I was I like, the obviously they've her. named the pass after Linda. <laughs> But it's only years after moving here, it's actually spelt Lynn Dis. <laughs> Sounds like Linda. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what's so special about Linda? I know. She's got a pass named after her. Maybe old Linda had a nice pass. <laughs> and Linda's pass is pretty mega, as Richie would say. Um, Can so you stop <laughs> quoting your boyfriend, <laughs> Richie? I'm so paranoid about overtaking nowadays. I know. After that, I was like, that's not like you. Normally, you would have yeah. opened her up. I know. Until I get my points back on my license, I'm a little bit dubious. And that's good. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a telling off, off having no license. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, that was tight. Yeah, nice to get the bike lent over. That's half the problem with this bike. You, you just can't go fast enough on public roads to get it lent over. Oh, beautiful, More like it. That's nice. That was a nice bike. That was an old Ducati. Yeah, there's, it's not quite twisty enough, this road, to be honest. It's not what, sorry? It's not twisty enough. You don't think? Nah. It needs to be more twisty. Oh, well, you've got back and roar if you want to uh, Even that's not twisty enough for this bike, to be honest. You need... What? You need a track. You need to be on a track to really lean this bike over. There's nothing on a public road that can... Unless you try and do like a 90 degree corner like this at speed. Oh, he's going that way. Where's he going? Oh. They're waving to us. Are they saying goodbye? I don't know. I think they just want to go back this way. I am keen to maybe, at some point, swap the exhaust for a lighter one. Really? Why is that? Because you can, you know, get a, a lighter exhaust and, and save three or four or five kilograms. Oh, lighter? I think yeah. it's larger. No, lighter, lighter. Oh, right. Okay, I can understand that. Yeah. Because the standard one weighs a bloody ton. But... It's such a minute change that I just don't see the point of spending the money at the moment. I'd much rather use, lose five kilograms off my gut. Yeah. So how much would you Oh, hundreds of dollars. Yeah, no, I'm not going to... I don't... There's nothing wrong with the standard one. It looks great. 
but there, there is a guy that's got this he's from oh gosh I can't remember it might be Christchurch actually I think it's Wellington um, he's got exactly the same bike as us and he's got the, like these two little aftermarket pipes instead of the standard exhaust man it looks bloody good but he said they are quite a bit noisier and they can get quite a bit annoying ah. so you don't want that if you're touring no I agree I think I like it the way it is. This bike is a little bit drony when you sat at, you know, 110k for hours on end. I mean, that's when the the GS would be nicer. Just that dug 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 dug. Kayakers. Should we say goodbye to them here because this is the last time we get to stop? I do. We say goodbye here. Okay. Thanks for your See you guys. Yeah, that was awesome. fun. Yeah, so okay. Brilliant. Alright. Eh, front wheel came off the ground then. 